Hi folks, Steve from Martell Training Group. Today I'd like to talk about ammunition restrictions and magazine capacity limitations in New Jersey specifically for your permit to carry a handgun. Now, this information is current as of the date of recording of this video. However, if you're not sure or if it's later, you might wanna check with the New Jersey State Police via their website or phone call or your local police or a licensed attorney to get up-to-date information on the current law because as we all know, this is a fluid situation with the firearms laws in New Jersey and elsewhere as, as well. Since the recent U.S. Supreme Court decision, Nyserpa v. Bruin, a New York gun case earlier this year, New Jersey has seen a surge in permit to carry applications, as well as a surge in the issuance of permits to carry to New Jersey citizens. Because of this, there are a lot of questions about restrictions, ammunition, magazine capacity, qualifying with firearms, adding a firearm to your current permit to carry. I posted uh, multiple videos on this topic. You can see at the end of this video for links or in the description below for more information on permits to carry in New Jersey. First, we're going to talk about ammunition restrictions for your permit to carry. And then we're going to talk about magazine capacity limits in New Jersey. I've been asked specifically, can you carry hollow point ammunition with your permit to carry in New Jersey? Now, according to the New Jersey State Police, and you can see this on their website, any commercially available ammunition is acceptable so long as it's not hollow point ammunition. So the answer to that is no, you cannot carry hollow point ammunition in the handgun that you're utilizing for your permit to carry. So unless you're an active duty police officer, either on duty or off duty, or you're a qualified retired law enforcement officer carrying under LEOSA, which is an acronym for Law Enforcement Officers Safety Act, you cannot carry hollow point ammunition. Now you can purchase it, you can possess it, you can bring it home, you can keep it at home for home protection, you can bring it to the range to shoot it at the range, but you cannot carry it in your handgun under your permit to carry. Now I know it doesn't make a lot of sense and it, to me it's a safer round. The idea being that it expands upon impact uh, with the target so as to not go through the targets. So if you're shooting at a bad guy, for example, to stop the bad guy, whatever they're doing, whether it's an active shooter situation, you don't want your round to go through the bad guy. You want it to stop when it hits the bad guy. Now this goes along with the firearms rules of knowing your target, knowing what's beyond your target, but I, I still personally would like to have safer ammo when I carry, which to me is the hollow point ammunition. However, it is not that way in the state of New Jersey under current law. NJSA 2C393F states that with very few narrow exceptions, only active duty police officers either on duty or off duty, are authorized to carry hollow point ammunition. Now, if you're carrying under the New Jersey RPO as a retired police officer or law enforcement officer in New Jersey, the New Jersey State Police are still telling RPO holders that they cannot carry hollow point ammunition. This is due to the fact that New Jersey, the state of New Jersey, just lost a lawsuit by the New Jersey FOP and the Federal Law Enforcement Officers Association. They sued the state of New Jersey saying that retired law enforcement officers who reside in New Jersey should be able to carry under LEOSA and not get the RPO. They won, and New Jersey is currently appealing it. So my thoughts are that New Jersey is still telling RPO holders, you cannot carry hollow point ammunition because under New Jersey current law, only active duty law enforcement can carry hollow point ammunition. However, federally under LEOSA, the judge, the U.S. District court judge did rule they can carry hollow point ammunition under leosa so if you're carrying under leosa in new jersey in the state of new jersey you can carry hollow point ammunition according to this recent u.s district court decision my guess is after they lose the appeal the state of new jersey will have to come out with some sort of statement regarding the new jersey rpo and ammunition for retired police officers in New Jersey. If you're a retired police officer and you want more information on LEOSA and the current lawsuit was won against the state of New Jersey regarding LEOSA and hollow point ammunition, please see my video. I'll put a link in the description below for more information on that. 
So recommendations on carrying ammunition in the handgun with your permit to carry. On the New Jersey State Police website, and you can look this up under frequently asked questions, they state that any ammunition that does not have a hollow cavity, such as ammunition that's filled with a polymer filling, such as the uh, Hornaday critical defense or critical duty ammo, is acceptable. It's not considered hollow point ammunition. So I would recommend getting one of these types of ammunition to carry in your handgun because I believe it's safer than a full metal jacket round. So you have Hornaday Critical Defense, Critical Duty, Corbon Powerball, Glazer Safety Slug, Nosler Incorporated Defense Ammunition. There are various types of ammunition that has the hollow nose of the ammo filled with a polymer or some type of uh, filling, which again, the New Jersey State Police does not consider this type of ammo to be hollow point. Now onto the magazine restriction in New Jersey. As far as magazine capacity, Everyone in the state of New Jersey, and, and this was changed about three years ago, with the exception of active duty police officers and qualified retired police officers carrying under the RPO, everyone else is limited to 10 rounds. So you should not have any more than 10 round magazines at your home or in your handgun that you carry under your permit to carry. New Jersey considers anything over 10 rounds to be large capacity and it's in violation of current law. Now again, New Jersey RPO holders are, are allowed to have a firearm with up to 15 rounds so long as it is quote unquote registered with the state police, which just means it has to be on your qualification sheet. RPO holders have to qualify twice a year. So when you go to qualify, get that on your qualification sheet, shoot it at the range, qualify with it, and you can carry or and possess that firearm up to 15 rounds if you're a retired police officer carrying under the RPO. Now, under Leosa, some debate that, say, a Glock 19 that comes with a 15-round magazine would be acceptable carrying under Leosa in New Jersey since Leosa addresses firearms and not magazine capacity specifically. Now, I would just be careful about this, and I do believe that Leosa should be more clear. I think it needs uh, clarification on several points. This is one of them. But I know that the law in New Jersey regarding permits to carry and possession of anything more than 10 rounds is uh, considered a violation. I've done a video on Leosa and magazine capacity as well. Please see the video link in the description below for more information on that. Now, I wanted to note something about active duty law enforcement officers. According to the New Jersey State Police website, you are authorized to carry up to 17 rounds of ammunition or magazine capacity off duty for with your personal firearms and anything issued by your department. There are no restrictions. Now, I do believe that the magazine restriction, along with a lot of other firearm restriction laws in New Jersey, will be challenged in the near future because of NYSERPA versus Bruin. But for now, unless you're an active duty police officer or a qualified retired law enforcement officer in New Jersey, I would stick to 10 rounds and no hollow point. Don't forget to see the other videos that I've posted on this topic at the end of this video and also links in the description below. If you like this video, please share it and consider subscribing to stay up to date on the firearms issues in New Jersey. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe.